Today, I got invited for a Bing chat, and after playing with it and installing the Microsoft Edge browser, I think it will change the way how we use YouTube forever. I'm gonna explain you everything within a second, but if you're interested in getting the same results, make sure you install the developer version of Microsoft Edge. There's a link in the description of this video. Now, as you can see here, this is one of my favorite golf channels. It's Rick Shields. He has over a few million subscribers and I love playing golf. And after installing this Edge browser, you see here at the right top, there is a Microsoft Edge button. When I click on this, it will open a chat window. This blew my mind because this chat knows exactly what is happening on this page. So you can ask this chat anything. Now, the way we were inter interacting with YouTube videos was always through the comments below a video. But look what I'm going to do here. I can say, who is the person in this video? Now look at this. Bing chat knows exactly who is in this video. It's going to record here. It says the person in this video is Rick Shields, a professional golf coach and a YouTube personality. He has a channel where he reviews golf equipment, gives tips and tutorials and plays golf courses around the world. According to the webpage context, he is trying to break 75 at TPC Sawgrass, a famous golf course in Florida. Now, when I was watching this video last week, I wondered if I could play on that course as well, if that was allowed. So you can now ask anything inside this browser and it knows exactly what this is about. So when I say, is it possible to play on Sawgrass? Now, when I do this, look what happens. Yes, it is possible to play on TPC Sawgrass, but it can be expensive and you need to book in advance. According to the web search results, there are two championship championship courses at the TPC Sawgrass. Now, here you see all the information. It says it's possible to play on Sawgrass. Now, I can also say how expensive is a green fee. I want to type this. Look at this. It's going to give me another answer. So, while I'm watching this video of my favorite YouTuber, this golf YouTuber, Rick Shields, I can start asking all kinds of questions in the chat. And here you can see it's answering me that a green fee is between 196 and 335, uh, seven days a week here. Uh, all the information, plus it also comes with links. When I click on these links, it will give me the information. When I click on get more here, local green fees, I can open this in a new browser. And here I can see exactly the price of the green fees. So let's say I wanna ask more questions here. And um, I wanna ask more information about Rick Shields. I wanna know what his most popular video is. So what is his most popular video? Now, I'm not gonna say what is Rick's pop most popular video, etc. This conversation knows exactly what I mean because I'm talking about this page, I'm talking about this video, and it's going to give me the results. And here it says, according to the web search results, his most popular video on YouTube uh, is with Dude Perfect, a group of trick shot artists and comedians. And here it's going to give me the links to that as well, and I can watch these again. Now, let's say, um, I want to fix my slides and I want to learn from Rick how he plays golf. I could say, uh, does Rick also shows me how to fix my slides? Let's see what it comes up with. So I'm no longer searching here in YouTube. I did not, uh, I did not type anything inside of YouTube here. I'm only asking Bing questions in here. And now it says, yes, Rick Shields has several videos on how to fix your slice. And here it comes up with all these videos, as you can see here, when I scroll down, look at this, it comes up with the videos on how to fix your slice. And I wanna, I wanna know more about Rick. So uh, does he also have a website? And do you see how much information I'm getting while I'm simply looking at a video? This is a golf video, but this can be anything. This could be product videos. If you're watching the newest iPhone or you're watching a television or you're watching any other 
video that you're looking, uh, you can ask questions about the video that you're watching. And here you can see this. It says, yes, Rick has a website. It's Rick Shields. Here I can go to his website, etc., etc. Now, how cool is that? Now, it does not stop here because this is the way I chat here with uh, this video or with the bot with Bing, right? But what I also can do as a YouTube creator, I'm a YouTube creator and Rick is a YouTube creator. Let's say we go to the comments here. So this is a very popular video. So let me go to the original video with the comments here. And let me open this one. So there we are. Now, like I said here, uh, I think I need to zoom out in order to get the comments here. Yes. So. Here we can see a lot of comments as well for this specific video. Now, as a creator, you also want to reply to comments. So when I select a text in here, it's automatically pasting the text in here. As you can see, it says one of the best Break 75 episodes because of Nick. He is so positive and relaxing. One of the one of, of a kind person indeed. So this was a comment placed by Pet Petri Petri. So what you can do here in this chat is say, write a nice response a response to this comment. So if I want to answer this person, let's say I'm Rick Shields and I want to answer this person, I simply type in Bing chat to write a kind response. And look at this, Rick could have answered this. Thank you for your kind words. I agree that Nick is a great person and a wonderful coach. He helped me a lot during the challenge and I'm glad you enjoyed watching it. So he was not a coach in this case. So uh, he was a caddy, but you know, you can change a few words and you can simply copy and paste this and reply to each answer. So you could say, okay, I'm gonna take the next one here. I'm gonna copy, oh shoot, it's placing everything in here. Let's say, okay, right a kind response and now it's going to write another response and I can reply to this video. So yeah, uh, I think this is amazing and I think this will change the way on how we use YouTube forever. Let me know your thoughts. Do you find this interesting? Do you think that you're going to use this when you're on YouTube and basically you can use this on any website to get information and uh, I think, uh, man, this AI thing is taking us very, very far and very, very fast. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching. Please like the video and uh, talk to you soon. Cheers.